All right, now we had the weekly jobless claims come out, and that number jumped to 231,000. Now, that's the highest since last August, and that's about a 20,000 person jump from the numbers last week. Now, the estimate was 212,000, and we had been stuck at that number for about six months, and there were many people questioning whether those numbers were legitimate. At any rate, the markets are up, and if we see these weekly jobless claim numbers move higher and one or two monthly jobs numbers come in below estimates, then we very well might see a Fed rate cut before the end of the year. Now, it's not too much happening in the financial news spectrum. And we have consumer credit, I believe, comes out today around three. Now, we have precious metals move up after those weekly jobless numbers. And gold is up almost $20 an ounce. Silver is up almost a buck, over $28 an ounce. Copper, palladium, platinum, they're all up. Agricultural commodities, they're mixed again. The commodity orange juice is beginning to creep up. I'll keep an eye on that. Now, Tesla's quietly announcing a U.S. job freeze, and all U.S. job postings have disappeared. And that's no surprise. Elon Musk and Tesla, they're going to have to go where the cheapest labor is, and it's not in the U.S. In order for them to compete with the Chinese EV makers, they're going to have to drop all costs. And in my belief, it's still not going to be enough. And Tesla is ultimately going to continue losing market share to the China EV market. But what does that mean for the U.S.? Well, that's going to mean less jobs here, more jobs in Mexico, Latin America, and Asia. Now, there are no big companies reporting earnings this afternoon or tomorrow morning to really move the market. So the market is green and it'll probably stay green. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.